the speech from President Joe Biden to Vice President Kamala Harris as the Democratic candidate for U.S. President brought an instant change in atmosphere to the campaign for the White House. Former President Donald Trump, who had previously looked younger compared to Biden, suddenly looked old and had struggled to regain his post-convention dominance. Harris, meanwhile, had pulled ahead in the national polls and will get another bounce from this week's Democratic convention. The change at the top of the Democratic ticket put public policy debate on hold, but last week Kamala Harris revealed a series of specific policy proposals with a focus on the economy, particularly the cost of living. Trump had tried to link Harris to Biden, who remains unpopular in part because <coughs> of the high inflation that occurred since he took office. Harris' economic proposals contained several surprises, one of which is a plan to give a $6,000 tax credit to parents of a newborn child. She also proposed to raise the child tax credit from $2,000 per child to $3,600 for children under six years old and $3,000 for children over six. It was briefly raised in 2021 as part of economic relief during the COVID-19 pandemic. This credit resulted in a 40% drop in child poverty in the U.S. that year, but it jumped up again when the tax credit expired in 2022. The tax, child tax credit reduced the income tax burden for those with the children up to an income threshold and resulted in a payment from the government when little or no tax is required. The focus on families and childbirth in particular represents a significant shift in U.S. political discourse on demographic policy. In 2016, Trump's harsh stance on immigration raised demographic policy as an issue after years of social consensus that immigration is good for the country. Since Trump's political rights, views of immigration have turned negative, and Trump continued to pound away at the issue. The 2010s saw a consistent drop in the fertility rate in the U.S. that had continued in the 2020s reaching a historic low of 1.6 uh, birthdays per woman in 2023. The trend received little attention until 2023, when mainstream media began giving it more attention, which had triggered a broader social debate that mirrors ideological division in U.S. society. Two sharply contrasting views have emerged. On the far right, the decline is viewed through the lens of race and religion and thus represents a challenge to the historic dominance of white Christians. Apart from these vocal groups, a range of other groups in both parties continue to support immigration and worries about the cost of raising children in the U.S. rather than the fertility rate itself. These are the groups that Kamala Harris is trying to reach with the proposal. As the daughter of immigrant parents herself, she understands the benefits of immigration for the U.S. Harris frequently sprinkles her speeches with the words forward, opportunity, and the future. Her approach, her approach to demographic policy reflects the idea of a social dynamism. To borrow from the early 2000s, 
South Korean slogan, Dynamic Korea, had its vision a dynamic of USA that looks toward the future, a demographic policy that focused both on raising the fertility rate, or at least stemming the decline and the continuing immigration, is critical to creating a dynamic USA. Dynamic Korea emerged during the recovery from the 1997 Asian financial crisis as young entrepreneurs, mostly in their 30s, rode the digital revolution to success. The largest three-a-6 generation was young, energetic, and optimistic about the future which influenced the generation before and after. South Korea is still dynamic, but the energy of dynamic Korea is fading as the population ages. The 3A6 generation is starting to retire. The fertility rate that hit a record low of 0 0.7 in 2023, and the population itself began to decline in 2021. Raising the fertility rate will take time, if it even happens, so the only practical solution is immigration. As an advanced democracy with a strong economy, South Korea has the potential to attract many more immigrants than it does now. Welcoming Korea is a slogan that's needed now.